Hello, and welcome back to our ESU from the Workbench series. In today's video, we will be unboxing and setting up the ESU number 53452 LOC Programmer. When you open up the Programmer box, you will notice the major components. The Programmer itself on the right. At the bottom, you will notice the power supply. Above that is the USB to serial cable, and you may or may not have a CD including the installation software. We will not be using the included CD. Instead, I will be showing you how to go to our website download the latest drivers as well as the Loke Programmer software. Do not plug in the Loke Programmer at this point. We want to make sure that the software and the drivers are installed before we hook up the programmer itself. So from your computer, open up a web browser and go to our website, www.loksound.com. Click on the Downloads link. Click on Firmware and Software. Click on Loke Programmer PC Software. From this list, we will need to download two programs. The very first one is the Loke Programmer itself, which will be the first download here. Loke Program Programmer PC Software for fourth generation decoders. Click on the download link. The license agreement will appear. Read down through it. When finished, click the download button. That'll start downloading in the background. And then scroll down to the bottom of the page. The second file that we need is the USB driver and it'll be the USD, USB driver for FDTI chipset. The cable that is included with your programmer uses an FDTI chipset to communicate between your programmer and the computer. So click on the download link, click download, and we will just let our two files finish downloading here. Once your files have finished downloading, you can close out of your web browser. And by default, Windows saves these files to the downloads folder. So let's go ahead and open up Windows Explorer by clicking on the file folder here. Or the shortcut key is Windows key E. And if we look here under downloads on the left hand side, you can see the two files saved on our computer. If you look closely, you'll notice they are in zipped format. To unzip them, I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on Extract All. I'm going to just take the default here, which is going to save it into my Downloads folder. Click Extract. Do the same thing for the Loc Programmer folder. Right click, extract all, take the defaults, extract. Once the folders are extracted, you can delete the original zipped files. Just going to highlight them, press delete, say yes. We first need to install the FTDI driver. Double click the window. Double click the setup icon that appears. If it comes up with a message saying, are you sure you want this program to make changes to your computer? Say yes. This will install the driver. You will only see this 
little box here uh, similar to the old DOS prompts installing driver when it's finished it will disappear it will not give you any type of confirmation this is your confirmation right here when it's finished we'll go back one and we will open up the loc programmer folder and click on the loc programmer setup file again do you want to make changes to the to your computer say yes take all the defaults so we'll click next 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 and install When the installation is finished, it'll pop up this little dialog box. We do not want to start our Log Programmer at this time. So we're going to uncheck that and click on Finish. I'm going to close the Windows Explorer window. And you will now notice the icon for the Log Programmer on your desktop. Before you plug in the programmer or launch the Loke Programmer software, make sure you reset Windows. So click on the Start button, go to Restart, and let it go through its process and come back into uh, Desktop. Once Windows has restarted, go ahead and plug in the power to your programmer, plug it into your power source, Plug the serial cable into your programmer, tighten it down with the thumb screws, and plug the USB end into your computer. You can now connect a piece of test track to your programmer by using either the green terminal screw connection that is provided or if you have a pair of alligator clips, you can go directly from your track out to each rail, place your locomotive on the test track, and we are ready to proceed. Return to your computer, and you will notice the loc programmer icon on your desktop. Go ahead and double click to launch the program. And we get two different pop-up boxes. For right now, we're not gonna worry about these. Just click on OK and close, we'll get rid of those. What I do wanna discuss is making sure that your programmer is being detected by the, by the computer. It should come up as uh, using one of your communication ports. So to double check this, we're going to go up to the Tools menu, Program Settings, and this is the uh, Change Program Settings dialog box. If you click on Loc Programmer, you'll notice here mine says Serial Port, USB Serial Port COM4. If that is blank, then there is a problem with the communication between your programmer and the computer. More than likely, the drive you forgot to install the driver for the FTDI cable that is included with the programmer. So just make sure that this is filled in. Hit Save Changes. And that really completes everything there is to unboxing and setting up your Loke programmer. Using the Loke programmer is covered in other videos available on our website at www.loksound.com. We hope you found this video educational and useful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. And thank you, as always, for choosing ESU.